Who is God? 40 Definitions of God It is impossible to fully describe God because God is incomprehensible. When we speak of God, we must have a lot of reverence for the Almighty because we really are nothing before God. We are going to expand a great description of God that was revealed to Sister Maria of Agreda, a beatified Spanish nun who received these teachings of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In a revelation in the mystical city of God, the angels define God in the following 40 sentences. He is beauty itself. He contains within himself all the perfections beyond all desire. He is amiable without defect, delightful beyond comparison, pleasing without the least flaw. In wisdom, he is inestimable, in goodness, without measure, in power, boundless, in greatness, immeasurable, in essence, infinite, in majesty, inaccessible, and all his perfections are infinite. In his judgments, he is terrible, his counsels inscrutable, in his justice most equitable, in his thoughts unsearchable, in his words most true, in his words holy, rich in mercies, Space cannot overreach him, narrowness cannot confine him, sorrow cannot disturb him, joy cannot cause any change in him, nor does he ever fail in his wisdom or change in his will. Abundance cannot overwhelm him, or want come near him. Memory adds nothing, forgetfulness takes away nothing from his knowledge. What was is not past for him, and what is to come never happens to him. The beginning gave no origin to his being, and time will bring to him no end. Without being caused, he causes all things. He has not need of anything, but all things need participation in him. He preserves them without labor. He governs them without confusion. Those who follow him walk not in darkness. Those who know him are happy. Those who love and extol him are blessed. For he exalts his friends, and at last glorifies them by his eternal vision and inner cause. God is beauty itself, because the beauty of the things he has created in his image is just a small shadow of his divine beauty. If matter, which is less than spirit, shows beauty, then what could we imagine and understand? about the true beauty that there is in God. And God presents a world where we can find beauty. God calls us to find him behind his creation and give more importance to the creator than to the creature. God contains within himself all the perfections that go beyond desire. That is, God fills the creature entirely more than the creature could possibly desire. God is kind without blemish. Since God is love, love is the perfection of all virtues, and God, with his love, loves and sustains his creation, sanctifies souls, and he has shown this by sending his Son to die on the cross for us. And God has prepared for us an infinite and eternal heaven of delights, where God will express to us the perfection of his love. 
God is delightful beyond compare. Psalm 43 verse 4 Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. There is no greater pleasure for man than to find God in his life, because the cause of the unhappiness of human beings is to have that inner emptiness that only God can fill with his joy. Heaven is the perfection of that joy that we conceive in our hearts. God awaits us. God is pleasant without suspicion. God expects nothing from the creature to express his goodness. Indeed, God is constantly filling the creature with his grace to see if the creature responds with the same love. God is a beggar of the love of his creatures, but we despise him and do not give him enough. Jesus calls us to give to God what is God's. Luke chapter 20, verse 25. In wisdom, God is inestimable. A human being can spend his entire life studying sciences and will never learn them all, as the number of sciences is infinite. They are all part of the wisdom of God that is infinite. Man can never come to understand the greatness of God's wisdom. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, He catches the wise in their craftiness. For God is without measure in His goodness. This tells us that He is infinitely good, magnanimous, and generous. God is a constant giver. God gives and gives and gives. Its source is never finished. His own goodness leads him to give without measure. So when we do the Lord's Prayer, we do not ask personally for us, but for everyone. God is happy to respond. God is endless in his power. God is so powerful, his power is absolute. There is no greater power than God's power. And God being good is like the light that overcomes the darkness. The power of evil will never win against the power of God. And God in his being is immense. God is infinitely great. Who could measure the infinite? And God is infinite, immeasurable, and completely incomprehensible by our human nature. God is incomparable in his greatness, because there is nothing bigger than him. With whom could one compare him? God created the atom as a small universe. He created the universe great for us, but not for him. God is unapproachable in his majesty. Who can approach his majesty? If he is everywhere, we can only be in one place. God is omnipresent. And all that God in itself contains of perfections is infinite. Absolutely everything from God is infinitely perfect and perfectly infinite. He has neither beginning nor end. God in his judgments is terrible. This indicates that as God is perfect, no one can absolutely contradict him anything because he has already decided everything well in his perfect judgment. This is why we should be afraid of offending him. God is inscrutable in his counsels. He gives us his wisdom in his word, and it doesn't matter how much we study it, we will never fully understand him. God in his justice is most upright, and to avoid hurting us, he puts us before his mercy so that we can have an opportunity to come clean before his justice. God is most secret in his thoughts, so we should not look into the future with horoscopes or riddles, because this is all witchcraft and offends God. God is true in his words. God is the only truth. Everything else can be presented with another face, but the word of God is always the truth. 
God is holy in his works. As being holy, everything he thinks and everything he does is always holy and perfect. God is rich in mercies. For who can be more merciful than he? Mercy is the exaggerated kindness and generosity with which God fills creation. To God, space does not come wide, because he is wider than width. His scope is infinite. God is not limited by narrowness, because God is the master of time and space. He can be smaller than small and bigger than big. God is not disturbed by sadness, because his eternal joy, sorrow, is an opposite of joy, which is one of his attributes. And in God, there are no opposites, as here on earth. God is not altered by happiness, because that is just a small step to the happiness and eternal joy that he is. God is not deceived by wisdom, because in his wisdom, he knows absolutely everything, and in his infinite knowledge, he can see everything with the clarity of 10,000 suns. God does not change his will, because every decision he takes is calculated in the perfection of his works. What he wants is always what must be. Nothing is lacking in God's abundance, because God himself is the abundance of everything that is good, and he has everything ready at the right moment. God is not diminished by any need. This means that no need will decrease the amount of generosity with which he can respond. God never has a short memory since his memory is infinite, and he doesn't need to remember anything new, because for him there is no novelty. God is not diminished by forgetfulness, because everything in the mind of God appears so clear, because for him everything exists in an instant. So he is unable to forget, because forgetting is only a human quality. To God, what already was never happened because he is the master of time and eternity. He looks at everything in an eternal present. To God, the future does not happen for the same reason that in his mind he sees everything in an eternal moment. The beginning of everything did not give him origin because God is the origin of everything. God is uncreated. Time will not bring God to an end, because God is the creator of time. Time is a creature, while God is the creator. God, without having a cause to give him a beginning, gave beginning to all things, not because he needed any but because they all need of his participation. God has created everything that exists for his pleasure and glory. God preserves all things without work. God is not diminished by preserving things or by giving life, for he is the spirit that sustains all that is created in the fire of his infinite and eternal love. God governs all things without confusion. God is a God of order. He has done all things with a purpose, and everything provides a service to others, and all need from the others. God does not need any of them, but all need God. Whoever follows God does not walk in darkness, because God is the light that shines upon all darkness. Those who know him come to his light, live in his light, and are glorified in his light. Whoever knows God is happy. Whoever serves him understands 
adores and glorifies him, ends up doing all this for himself, because God does not need us. But coming to him, God gives us all his infinite goodness and happiness. Whoever finds and loves God is blessed. For though God is everywhere, we live apart from him, but when we love God above all things, he opens the door of his light. For God exalts his friends through his Son, who makes us his children. All our littleness will disappear in the greatness of God, and at the end, he will glorify us in a way that is impossible for us to imagine with his eternal vision and company. In summary, the attributes of God and his perfections are countless and endless. Among the most prevalent in those we should meditate upon, we find light, majesty, glory, and divine will, omnipotence, omnipresence, and omniscience, power, wisdom, and love. Peace, mercy, and joy, immutability, faithfulness, grace, and beauty, holiness, justice, truth, and integrity. If you like this reflection, I beg of you, subscribe to my channel, give us a like, and share this video with your friends and with the whole world. God bless you.